Attention, U.S. service members seeking divorce. Here are some tips that may surprise you. The first tip we have for our service members' divorce is that when retirement is being separated during a divorce proceedings, there is a 1010 rule. However, that only applies to disbursement of your retirement benefits through the DFAS system. If you've been married shorter than the 10 years, you still get the opportunity to disperse that retirement. However, it's done individually and not through the DFAS uh, system. Even though Texas is a community property state, you do not have to give up half of your entire retirement. If you were married for less than the entire time that you served, then less than that would be the marital portion. And in mediation, sometimes we can allow you to keep all of your retirement. Tip number three for our service members' divorce is that whenever you're deployed, that does not mean that you automatically lose custody of your children. We can get some temporary orders in place where either a family member like a grandparent can utilize that time for you or we can establish some time when you return, but you will not lose your possession and access due to you being deployed. Finally, many service members choose to file in Texas because we have a shorter waiting period than many other states. And you don't actually have to have a house or be here in order to claim Texas as your home state. If you are a service member or your spouse is a service member, call us and we can see about getting you filed for divorce here.